Welcome back to Citron South Africa. I'm Nikki Nash, and today you join me inside this beautiful red Citron C3 Aircross. So, if you guys have been on this channel since last year, you guys should know that I had the Citron C3, the normal one, on Tesla. So, click the pop up banner over there, yes, over there, and then watch that review. That's where I share most driving um, impressions of this vehicle because this vehicle is the exact same thing as that, just lifted up, given more space for a more family type of type of vibe, you know. So let's speak about the look of the vehicle, and then I'll just touch a bit on the drive, and then we'll speak about the pack cans. The look of the vehicle um, in red. I like it in red. Um, there's a red and a white one in the fleet, if I'm not mistaken. The white one I didn't want because I didn't like the white one. The white makes the car look very dull. Um, so the red makes, like red cars make it pop. Even if the car is not appealing to the eye, with the red it pops. And with this vehicle, the white one I don't like. The vehicle in white looks ugly, I don't lie. But in red, I actually do like it. Um, I actually ended up loving this vehicle because of the overall package this vehicle um, gave me. So when I say overall package, what do I mean? I'll touch more on that because it, it basically sums up with practicality. Um, let's move on to the driving um, impressions of this vehicle. The driver's vehicle drives very nice. This car is powered by an 81 kilowatt, 205 newton meters of torque. The exact same engine or that's found in the Opel courses, the Peugeot 208, all of those is just is found is the exact same thing and then the, the six speed automatic gearbox a torque converter and this gearbox I honestly do love it. It works amazingly. Um I'm happy it's not a CVT. Um, I know the Stellantis group don't do CVTs. So I'm happy that there's not a CVT because CVT gearbox wouldn't make the drive of this vehicle that enjoyable and this torque converter gearbox that's in this vehicle makes this vehicle the perfect the perfect car for me honestly and onto the fuel efficiency the claim fuel efficiency of this vehicle is 6.5 and i've been averaging early seven around 7.3 7.4 so it's not too bad for obviously what i do the fuel consumption of a vehicle i just add two because some manufacturers claim and they don't achieve what they claim so it's not too bad fuel efficiency i liked it more especially because i've been jumping out our most recent test cars those test cars that fuel efficiency wasn't too great so when i got into this vehicle i got to admire and i got to enjoy the fuel efficiency of this vehicle i hardly spent i haven't spent any money on this vehicle right now but i am going to spend today um because i've been traveling most of the time so now the drive right let's go back to the drive the suspension the suspension feels very good um for what this car will be used for daily driving picking up kids from, from school going to work works wonderfully um i enjoyed this vehicle throughout the week that i've had um i wish i could keep it for longer uh, and then that's not something that i before i got the car it's not something i thought i would say but i am right here i am saying it now let's move on to the practicality of the vehicle the practicality let's go spacious and as you guys can see right now the seats they're huge the exact same thing the citron c3 um that i tested last year i said the exact same thing the seats are huge and comfortable the only thing i don't like is that i have an armrest i have an armrest but my passenger doesn't have an armrest and just hold on at the back there is no armrest or drinks hold that's something i don't like but honestly the interior does look good nothing new this is the exact same thing that i that i saw in the citron c3 uh so it's the exact same thing practicality inside wonderfully um this is the entry model this is the feel there is the shine and i'm in the feel and if i put you in this vehicle the only time you'll recognize that this is not the top of the range is the fact that this doesn't have reverse camera but it has a host of other features it has lane departure warning it has cruise control with memory meaning it is speed recognition basically so if i'm in a 60 zone and i'm doing 100 i just click the memory button twice it will drop down to 60 by itself so such features make the car you know feel very premium i would have liked if the uh, reverse camera was standard and if that was standard i wouldn't see a need for you to jump to the shine the top of the range but the fuel is a good buy and the rear seats at the back is spacious, very spacious. Um, I don't normally sit in the back of my test cars because I'm always driving, but for the sake of reviewing vehicles, I do tend to jump in the back when I'm bored and just test how the, 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 the seats are at the back. The seats are comfortable and they are spacious. The boots, that's my one of my favorite things with the boot is huge. Um, you're literally sitting, you literally have all the, the space you need for you, your kids, and literally whoever you whoever can fit in the vehicle so 
the target market of this vehicle, what, who are the people? Honestly, from my point of view, target market, young moms and people that are looking to start a family, um, more to the females, female side of things, this is the car for them. And I'm sure I've enjoyed this vehicle and I've enjoyed the vehicle, so they're definitely going to enjoy their vehicle. So this is aimed at young moms, young couples, they can start a family, all of that. This is the vehicle for you. Do I have any flaws with this vehicle in terms of drive? No. Looks? No. Looks are subjective. So other people might not like it, but looks are subjective. So the drive? No. Is there a train smash of this vehicle? No. But there is things I don't like. And speaking of things I don't like, we had that point where I talk about the things I like and the things I don't like. And always start with the bad. The bad is two things, literally. Number one, um, I don't like how the climate control is within the infotainment system. I don't have physical knobs or physical buttons for that. The second thing I don't like and is the armrest. I have an armrest, but my drive, my passenger doesn't have an armrest, and the people in the back don't have an armrest and a drinks holder. And the third thing I don't like is the fact that I understand this, this is the entry level one, but there is no charging port at the back, and there's only one charging port here in front for me. And obviously, I'm the driver. I'm gonna charge. Everyone else will make a plan, but there is a 12 volt socket. At least they do. They do give you that. Now on to the good things about the vehicle one. Surprisingly, number one is the look of the vehicle um, because it's in this red. I think that's why um, I'm a sucker for red cars this year. Last year it was blue cars, this year it's red cars. The red of this vehicle makes me like the vehicle. One, two, the drive of the vehicle makes me love the vehicle even more. Number three, the overall package of the vehicle, the interior practicality and look of the vehicle makes me love the vehicle even more. And it's something that I really do love about this vehicle. Literally, I've enjoyed it over the past six days I've had the vehicle with. I would like it for longer if I could. Now, would, do I like the car? Would I buy the car? Would I recommend the car? Do I like the car? Yes. Would I buy the car? Yes, but not for me. Um, if I was married or I had a girlfriend or whatever, all of that, then I'm looking for a small family car, a small car that my, my partner could have, I would buy it for her. But I myself right now, would I buy the vehicle? No, I am not the target market and understandably so. I'm still young, this is not the type of car I'm looking for. Number three, would I recommend the car? Definitely. I would recommend this vehicle. This vehicle is priced at, if I'm not mistaken, it's priced between 350, 360,000 rand. I'll put the correct pricing uh, uh, on the screen and the full pricing in the, in the description down below. This vehicle, I would definitely recommend it. There's honestly no fault that could say Nikki don't recommend this vehicle to anyone else. And if you look, if you like the look of the car, I would tell you to buy this vehicle right now. There's honestly no need for you to look any further. And with that being said, as always, I'm Nikki Nash and I hope you guys like the content. And remember, please do join the membership so you guys can see all the perks and early access to this review. There's people that are on the full spec, they got early access to this review. And this is not the full spec vehicle. So if you're joining and looking through this vehicle, that means you can join through the pro spec or the mid spec. But if you're not joining through the full spec, that's all up to you. But I do appreciate those on the channel. Um, big shout out to you guys that are, that are counting my, my members on the channel. and. From Ricky Nash, there's nothing more I can say. Keep it locked. Avashe.